they're shouting your name from my room. Please come in and help me out. Help you out with what? Maybe I told you I'll be going out this evening. I'm having a difficult time choosing what to wear. Where are you going out to again? Shibi already visited Clotus yesterday. You now want to see him every day. You mean I didn't just say about the guy I met on the way to see Cletus? Oh, wow, that should have been the first thing now. Maybe I forgot. What happened? This estate has been sold to someone else. Are you aware of that? Yes, I overheard some people talking about that few days ago. The news owner hasn't shown himself yet. I don't believe the rumors. My dear, it is true. I met the new owner yesterday. His name is Victor. And he's very handsome and rich. He wants to have dinner with me. Are you serious? I'm very serious. As a matter of fact, he dropped me off at Slito's house yesterday. Wow, I would like to meet him too. When are you going to see him? Don't worry, you'll meet him when I become close with him. For now, come and help me search for what to wear for my dinner dates. But you have so many beautiful dresses. As it stands now, I have no idea what to wear anymore. Come and help me out. Okay. Babe, what happened? I've been calling you with no response from you. What is the problem? <laughs> I'm so sorry, dear. I have been in the hospital with my father. As I am talking to you now, I am outside the hospital. You seem to be crying. What is the matter? <laughs> I'm so heartbroken, Gabriel. My father passed away in the early hours of this morning. What? This is all my fault. I wish I was there to take care of him. I don't know the sickness was that serious. Please don't blame yourself, my love. Whatever happened is not your fault. It is his time to leave this wicked world. How do I console myself? With this news, this is too much for me. I don't know this will happen so soon. Where are you? I will come pick you up wherever you are. I don't want you to wallow in pain alone. No need for that. My uncle wants us to have a burial first before I come back to the city. Please take heart, my love. I know that I am here for you. Thank you, dear. Take care of yourself, too. I'll try as much as possible to console myself until the barrier is conducted. Okay, dear. Vivian, thank you very much for coming out to see me. I thought you would joke around and at the end of the day, you give me some unreasonable excuses like you girls usually do. Come on, who would like to joke around with a handsome man like you? Seems you don't know your status. Of course I do, but it doesn't matter who I am. There are so many people that will still take me for granted. Well, definitely not someone like me. I hold you in a very high esteem. I feel privileged to be here with you. Wow, I love your kind of person. You are so easy to get along and you are beautiful as well. Thank you, dear. You're not looking bad, too. Will it be out of place if I ask you what you do for a living? Well, never mind. No matter what you do, it won't change the fact that I like you a lot. You like me? Well, I feel so lucky. I mean, out of all the pretty girls in this city, you're choosing me. So does it mean you like me too? Who wouldn't like you? Come on, you should know who you are. You're loaded, and you're not looking bad too. That's nice. I'm enjoying your company. Thank you. Cecilia, the worst has happened. Have you heard the sad news? What news? Is it about Rachel's father? Yes, so you heard about it. Who told you? And you didn't even care to let me know. Well, I just saw her text message where she said her father passed away and she won't be in the city for some days until the burial has been conducted. Oh my god, it is such a sad news. I just got off the phone with her. I wonder how our girl is coping. It must really be hard for her. My thoughts exactly. It is not easy to lose a loved one. Should we go to the burial? Are you really asking me? Have you forgotten how nice our father was to us whenever we went to visit her? You're right. We have to attend the burial. We have to be there for her. I feel so bad that this happened to her. Yes, she needs our support. We should find a way to get some presents for her, something that would cheer her up. You're right. Hey, yeah, my colonel listens to her. I can imagine how she will feel. It is not easy to be an orphan. That one is her business. She be that was the same man that I begged her to introduce me to. Now he is gone. That is such a mean thing to say, Gabriel. Your fiancé's father died a few days ago, and you are saying something else with no pity in your voice. So what if I'm not feeling any pity for her? I should fake it, Abby. And besides, don't refer to her as my fiancé because she's not. So you mean she did not accept your proposal? That's how dumb she behaves sometimes. 
Instead of accepting my proposal, she decided to travel to see her father. So you expected her to choose you over her father? Now that her father has gone, who will be with her? I even did her a favor, yet she is not grateful. I don't like your statement at all. I won't be surprised if you haven't even called to console her. Well, I did, but it was only for a reason. Now that her father is dead, all her father's properties will be hers. And if I marry her, all those properties will be mine. Just imagine what you are thinking about in this difficult time. I don't care about anything. All I'm concerned about is to live a comfortable life. And she's the only one that can give me that. You don't mean it. My dear, I mean everything I just said now. That guy is just perfect. I feel so lucky to be lucky. So he gave you a hundred thousand naira just like that. Are you sure you didn't do anything for him? No, I didn't. We just ate and talked. He has a very good sense of humor. Trust me when I say he's perfect. The way you are sounding, it's as if you have already fallen for this guy. Everything is clear in your eyes. Who wouldn't fall for him? Just imagine such a prominent guy. And the fact that he's the owner of the estate that we live in. That's giving me 100 over 100. If you already like him, so what about Cletus? I beg, leave Cletus out of this first. Make Cletus rest first. We'll talk about his matter later. Now wow, just one date that you went, you're already talking about him like, it's so strange. You can't blame me, Mabel. If you see this guy I'm talking about, you also fall for him. He has lots of money to spend. I was surprised too. Truth be told, I've never seen a lady so desperate before. She didn't even argue anything I said. I thought you wanted a relationship with her. Why are you now complaining? Seriously, if you have seen how she behaves, I am sure you would also say the same thing. I don't like desperate women. Did you in any way tell her what you have achieved and how rich you are? Yes, I did. As a matter of fact, the estate I bought recently is where she stays. Now you see why she behaved desperately. She heard about your achievements and all of a sudden, she developed feelings for you. When I was poor, no woman gave me a listening ear. My brother, that is how they behave. In this life, one must endeavor to have money, else you'll be treated as trash. Exactly. Now I am enjoying my money. I have no regrets whatsoever. I am glad I joined. I told you you would like it. Enjoy it while it lasts. As for me, I will keep that virgin girl. So you like her? I don't like her. She is too desperate, so she deserves to be killed. I will keep her in case any sacrifice is demanded from me. This is unbelievable. So Gabriel, you are here. I saw you from a distance. I doubted, so I decided to come and confirm. What is the problem? Now that you have confirmed I'm the one, can you leave us alone? Leave you alone to wear. Two days ago, I saw you in this same entry with a different girl, and today you are here with another one. And how is that your business? Why can't you mind your business for once? Why do you keep stalking me? Do I have any business with you? As long as you are in a relationship with my friend, then it is my business. Her father just died, yet you are here with another woman. Baby, please come back. Don't mind what she's saying. Come back, please. Let's continue what we're discussing. Did I just hear you refer to her as baby? You should be ashamed of yourself, Gabriel. How could you do this to Rachel? I don't want to lay my hands on you, Miriam. Who do you think you are to intrude in my privacy? You are very heartless. Tomorrow is her father's barrier. Instead of you to think of a way to make sure she is okay, instead you are frolicking with different girls. Don't let this repeat itself again. I am this calm because I didn't warn you the first time. Stay out of my business. My blood is boiling right now. You can imagine the kind of man Rachel entangled herself with. Today I told you before that that guy is not faithful to her. If he cannot be faithful to her while in a relationship, how then will he be faithful when he marries her? I just wish Rachel would come back today so I can tell her what her perfect boyfriend has been doing behind her back. Don't tell me you mean what you just said. Yes, I mean I will make sure to tell Rachel. He doesn't deserve to be with a woman like Rachel. How come she is faithful to him, yet he is not? I will advise to stay out of this. You know how Rachel behaves, and we both agreed never to involve ourselves in their relationship problem. 
so i should let him deceive her that way this is our best friend we are talking about we are supposed to watch our back and not turn our backs against her but we are not turning our backs against her have you forgotten what she did last time when you involved yourself knowing what gabriel is doing and not telling her sounds like betrayal to me i love rachel and i hate to see her get hurt we are all like sisters i know just let it go rachel might not believe you i don't care what she believes i will tell her what i saw she can do whatever she wants after then i'm so happy to see you here today i wasn't expecting to see you you should have called so i could at least prepare something for you don't worry about it i have missed you so much bro how have you been i miss you too i've been okay it's just that things are a little bit difficult for me now hey yeah uh, are you still working there yes i am i still work as a marketer but the problem is that they stopped paying my salary two months ago with the excuse that the business is dull and they will settle me soon but why now why would they even think of doing such a thing to you after all the stress you go through to sell their products i don't know why they are doing it but i kind of understand with them i'll just give them the little time they're asking for hmm i am sorry to hear that bro just keep trying your best everything will be fine soon thanks bro who has that car you drove down here victor gave it to me to lessen my transport fare that is nice of him please my regards to him when you see him again no problem 